So um, we're going to start with some seated stretching like we normally do, but today we're going to be seated on your knees. And so if this is comfortable, if it's extremely uncomfortable, you can go to cross leg or whatever is comfortable, but try to be on your knees so you're sitting with your heels back or your butt back onto your heels. <clears throat> and so from here, we'll just kind of get your breath going nice and easy, shoulder blades down and back, nice chest up. Nice big deep breaths. And on your next deep breath, we'll go ahead and reach up over your head. Nice big breath in. Pulling your shoulder blades down and back. Remember to create space between your ears and your shoulders. Squeezing that big beach ball overhead. Big breath in and then pushing all your air out. Pulling those shoulder blades down and back. One more big breath, breath in, reach as high as you can. And then as you exhale, turn to your left, take your right hand on your left knee and your left hand back to the floor behind you. And you can look back over your left shoulder. So you're getting a nice twist now. And again, try to find some nice, easy, deep breaths, which may be hard in this twisted position. But Try to relax your breath and again, space between your ears and your shoulders. One more big deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's twist to the right. So left hand on your right knee, right hand behind you on the floor, turning to the right, your chin looking over your right shoulder. And again, nice deep breaths. One more big breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll go back to, twist back to facing forward. And we're gonna go ahead and lay down on the ground. And so your legs are just gonna be flat on the ground, back behind you. <laughs> and your arms are gonna reach up over your head in front of you, both palms facing up. Your head can just relax on the floor, but I'm kind of looking up to talk, but you can still just relax your head, arms up over your head, and then swoop all the way around, arms up, or palms up, arms just right below your low back. And then we'll swoop around again, all the way back up, palms up. And again, relaxing your head. And we'll just do this like 10 times, so maybe like six or seven more, depending on how many you've already done. to do two more and then now you're gonna have one hand up one hand down and then you'll switch nice and again your legs are just relaxing back behind you your head can be resting on the ground and we're gonna do ten of these as well I'm gonna do two more. All right, and so I feel like <laughs> you need to see me a little bit better, so I'm gonna move my phone to here maybe. That might be better. It's a little bit more in a risky spot for the dogs, but we'll see how it goes. 
So now we're going to continue laying on the ground. And we're going to start your um, legs are going to be resting behind you just like they were before. Um, and your arms are going to be out in front. And you're just going to pull your arms and your shoulders up off the ground and then rest again. And then pull them up and then back down. So we're just going to do these little arm raises. And we're going to keep going for 30 seconds. Ready, go. And so we'll do 30 seconds of just your arms raise. Great work, nice job, nice job. Halfway. 10 more seconds for those. Three, two, one, and now your arms can rest and you're gonna just pick your legs up. <laughs> you see how I'm just kind of pulling my legs up, pointing your toes and pulling your legs up. Ready, go. 20 more seconds for these. Ten more seconds. All right, three, two, one. Take a short rest, and then we're going to raise arms and legs. Arms and legs come up. Nice work. We're going to do these 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. Take a short break and then we're going to kick your arms and your legs almost as if you were like swimming or something. You're just going to flutter arms and legs. Ready, set, go. 20 seconds. Nice job. 10 more seconds for the flutters. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we'll rest and then we're gonna do that whole cycle again. But first we're gonna rest. I know it's hard to see my whole body, but was that okay following along? She's popping in and out. We'll rest 30 more seconds and then we'll repeat that whole set. And so we're starting with just your arms raising so your legs can kind of lay behind you and be relaxed. And we'll just raise up the arms. Ten seconds. Alrighty, three, two, one. So just your arms raise. Great work, great work. Keep it up for 15 more seconds. Pulling those arms up. Taking little breaks if you need. All right, and then we're gonna go to just the legs in three, two, one, legs up. Pointing your toes, just pulling your legs up, keeping your arms out over your head. And again, you could be laying your head on the ground. I'm keeping mine up so I can talk to you. Keep 10 more seconds, legs lift. Three, two, one. Now we're going to go arms and legs. Nice job. Arms and legs just squeezing up off the ground. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're going to do that flutter. Definitely.
definitely not quite swimming, but almost. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Quick break if you need, but keep moving as much as you can. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. So we'll rest one more minute and we'll do that all one more time. And so if you want to rest in like a little bit of a child's pose, kneeling, a little round in your back could feel nice after doing that. Thirty more seconds. We'll rest. All right, ten more seconds. We'll do one more round of this. It'll be the last time through this stuff. So legs back and relaxed. Three, two, one. Arms raise. <laughs> and again, taking short breaks as you need. 10 more seconds, but moving as much as you can. Three, two, one, legs lift. And again, you can be resting your head on the ground if you want. Squeezing those legs up off the ground. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, arms and legs, squeezed up off the ground. Short little breaks if you need it. 10 more seconds for these. Three, two, one, flutter, arms and legs, kick it a little bit. Nice job, nice job, 10 more seconds. that little stretch. Yeah, get a sip of water if you have it close enough. And we'll go ahead and stand up. And you'll have your dowel for the next part, but you can keep resting if you need some more rest. That was hard, huh? movement, I'm sure. You're going to do some split squats and we're going to use the dowel to kind of help us with our balance and if we need to push into the dowel a little bit to help us get back up. Uh, but we're going to take a nice stance as if you're going to do a lunge. So a wide stance, one foot forward. I'm going to put my right foot forward to start, left foot behind. 
both toes are facing forward. Your hips are facing forward, your chest is facing forward, everything's facing forward. You're gonna be on the ball of your foot on your back foot. You're gonna be weight in the middle of your foot on your front foot. So your heels down, your toes are down, weight's in the middle. And you're gonna keep your chest up, bending both knees, just drop down to the ground and then stand back up. And again, if you need to use your dowel, like pushing into your dowel as you stand so that you can get some help coming back up. And that way you can keep weight in your back leg, sitting straight down, keeping this heel down to stand back up. So again, using your, using your dowel and keeping your chest up, your heel down, all of those things is better than not using the dowel if that means you're coming up onto this toe or something like that. So make sure that the dowel is helping you maintain that upright chest, sitting straight down, keeping weight in that heel. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do 30 seconds of those on one side and then 30 seconds on the other side. And so I'll start the timer, ready, go. Just because we've already done a couple on this side. And so no, sometimes we count to five or something on the way down, so nothing prescribed, but just moving through these at your own pace for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side. So it's definitely not a race. You don't have to do 100 of them in 30 seconds, but just nice and easy pace. Three, two, one. We'll go ahead and switch feet. So now my left foot forward, my right foot's back. Ball on my right foot, keeping my heel down on my left foot, chest up, toes forward, hips forward, chest up. And again, pushing into the dowel as much as you need. Three, two, one. All right, nice job. And so then the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna um, set your doll aside just for a second. We'll come back to it. And we're gonna just practice some squatting. So your feet are gonna be like shoulder width apart, toes kind of tracking forward or slightly out, knees come out, chest stays up. You're just gonna bend your knees to drop your butt down and then stand back up again. And again, just going down as low as you can while you're keeping your heels down, your chest up, all of that. And so we'll just try a couple of those. And now you're gonna do a couple with your hands on your head. So try keeping your hands on your head and do a couple of those. Nice, so a little bit more focus on having to keep that chest up. Great job, nice work. One more on it with our hands on our head. All right, and now we're gonna go back to that dowel, your walking stick, whatever it is. And we're gonna go ahead and reach up overhead with it. And now we're gonna try to do that squat again. And it's not, it doesn't matter how deep you go, just a little quarter squat is fine, but just knees out, chest up, and again, space between your ears and your shoulders. We're just trying to keep that dowel up over your head. Your armpits will face forward as you squat down. Knees out, chest stays up. Nice job. And so we'll do these for another just 30 seconds. As many as you feel. Nice, and if you can, try to keep your elbows straight. Yeah, nice. Good work, perfect. We're gonna do 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna go straight into back to our split squats. So nice, easy pace. Three, two, one. So you can set your dial back in the ground. We'll go right foot forward, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of our nice, easy split squats. Yeah, and using that dowel as much as you need to. Ten more seconds, and then we'll switch legs. Very nice. Yeah, heel down on that front. Three, two, one. We'll switch legs, and then we'll go split squats with our left foot forward. Nice and easy pace. And it doesn't matter how many we do, just working on control, balance, keeping our weight in that glute. Three, 
two, one. Now we're gonna go overhead with that dowel and back into our little squats. Nice. And again, really try to lock your shoulder blades down and back. Elbows straight. Armpits face towards the front. Yeah, nice. And so your heels gotta stay down, butt goes back. Nice job. And so nice and easy with these, take your time if you need to reset between reps. Nice easy squat. We're gonna do 30 more seconds for these and then we'll rest. Really nice. 20 more seconds. Again, arms straight, armpits forward, shoulder blades down and back. Space between your ears and your shoulders. Three, two, one. And we'll rest. We'll take one minute off before we do another round. Good job. <clears throat> nice work. There you are. All right, 15 more seconds, then we'll go into the next round. And again, it starts with those split squats in 10 seconds. And again, it doesn't matter how many you get, just try to move consistently, stay balanced, stay in control. Three, two, one. Split squats. Again, just keeping that heel down in the front. Ball of your foot in the back, chest up. Yeah, balance control. Try not to lean forward too much. Using that dowel if you need it rather than leaning forward. Making sure both legs are doing work. Three, two, one, and we'll switch legs. I uh, saw these people walking up. It's like two people and two dogs, and they actually got quite far before Eden saw them. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. One, and now we're gonna take that dowel and go up overhead. And we're gonna drop our butt down. Arms straight, shoulders down and back. <laughs> nice work, nice work. And we're gonna do these for 30 more seconds. Again, nice and easy. Shoulders down and back, relax between your ears and your shoulders. Arms straight. Weight in your heels, chest up. Very good. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, we'll rest, and then we're gonna do one last round after we rest. Good job. Oh yeah, they did a really good job. It's funny, it, there's, it's just this like, little chihuahua basically, very small. <laughs> Extremely threatening. <laughs> Flying gaff, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, they saved me from the chihuahua. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, you know, a couple older people and... No, no, no. Uh... 
and it's like we mostly hang out on the other side of the house which is good because they don't like bark or notice when people walk by but if they do see someone walk by as long as they can see him out there he'll just keep barking <clears throat> oh time for the next round three two one go and so it's those split squats right foot forward using that dowel as much as you need Nice job. This is our last round of this stuff. Three, two, one, switch legs. And again, push it into that walking stick as much as you need. Keeping weight in your back leg. Heel down in the front, chest up. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Back, whoops, over your head with your walking stick. And then dropping your butt between your legs. Arms straight, relax, shoulder blades down. Chest up. We're going to be doing these for 30 more seconds, so nice and easy. Yeah, good job, good job. Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one, rest. Okay, we'll rest. <clears throat> and for the next part of today, we're gonna be um, going back to that like 30 second pace and we'll just be going through some different movements 30 seconds at a time. And after we do three minutes of work, we'll take one minute to rest. So there'll be six moves that we do for 30 seconds. And after we work for three minutes, we'll take one minute to rest. And um, we'll repeat that once we're finished. And all of these moves are moves we've done before. And so I think it might be easiest to just kind of follow along as we go rather than go through all of them one at a time and then start. Um, so it'll be kind of like a surprise the first time through. Uh, but grab some water and we'll take a little break and then we'll go into it. You're going to love it. It'll be great. <laughs> and just to like, so the last time when we were doing the split squats and the overhead squats, we were working for two minutes and then resting for one minute. And so now we're going to be working for three minutes and resting for one minute. So a little bit more work before our rest, um, just to kind of give you an idea about that. <clears throat> And yeah, we'll take one more minute to rest. So you can stretch as you need, grab some water. And we're gonna be starting on the ground. <laughs> so that'll be nice. <laughs> and um, we will be doing some lunges. And so if you want to use your dowel again for the lunges, you can have it nearby, but you also aren't, you don't need to use it. So you don't need to have it with you, but you can have it close by if you want it. Okay, and we'll be starting on the ground. And again, the first round will be kind of like warm up as we go over all the movements and everything. So it can be an extra easy pace. But the first move we're gonna do is those penguin crunches. So you'll be kind of in a crunch and then you're gonna tap one heel and then tap the other heel. Remember these penguin crunches? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So ready, set, go. And so we'll do those penguin crunch. Tapping each side, and again, just slow and steady for 30 seconds. Ten more seconds.
more seconds for these. Three, two, one. And you're just gonna roll on over into a plank. And we'll do some shoulder taps. So tap one shoulder and then tap the other shoulder. And if you want, you can put your knees down because this is just about doing those shoulder taps. <clears throat> and so again, tap, tap. And again, if you want to have your legs up, you can be in a plank as you do it. 10 more seconds for shoulder taps. Three, two, one. Now you're leaving your feet where you're at. You're gonna walk your hands back up to your feet and then stand for an inchworm. And then you're gonna take your hands back to the ground and walk out to that plank <laughs> and then walk your hands back to your feet again. We'll just be doing some inchworms. 10 more seconds for the inchworms. Yeah, good job. Three, two, one. We'll come on back to standing. And then this is where if you want your walking stick, you can use it and we'll do some reverse lunge steps. So kind of like our split squats, but we're gonna switch legs each time. And again, using the dowel if you want. Nice job, nice job. Three, two, one. You're gonna stay standing, you're gonna take a, whoopsie. You'll take a step, almost about a half of a lunge step, and then you're gonna bow forward, not bending your knees, but keeping your hips high. And then you'll switch to the other leg, bowing forward, hips high. Nice. Call these walking dead, because it's like a deadlift while you walk around, step, step. Yeah, so you could do these walking like your lunges do, or you could do them in place. Three, two, one. And now you're gonna do like split with your feet, hops, and add jumping jack arms. So your feet are back and forth, but your arms are up and down. <laughs> yes, nice. 10 more seconds of these. Three, two, one. Okay, rest. Okay, so that was our first round. Remember the first round was kind of like the practice round, so we got a feel for all the movements. We'll rest one minute and then we'll repeat. Good job. Good job going with the flow and just following along. Some, that takes some trust. <laughs> and it starts with the penguins in 30 seconds. The inchworms are the hard part, huh? No, the last thing, because my legs were kind of rubbery from the squats. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The last part is the hard part. <laughs> 10 more seconds to rest, and then we'll do those penguins. Three, two, one. Penguin crunch. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. So shoulder taps, so you can roll on over into that plank and then tap the opposite shoulder with your hand. And again, knees down is good. Just trying to keep those shoulders engaged doing those taps. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and walk your hands back to your feet. Inchworm. more 
more seconds for our inchworms. Three, two, one. And then again, if you want your walking stick, grab that, we'll do lunges. Just like we were doing our split squats. Chest up, front heel down. Pushing into the walking stick as much as you need to help you up. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do those walking dead. So again, legs straight, bowing forward, taking like a half a step. Just a slight bend in your knees. Hips stay high, shoulders down and back. You'll really feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Good job, good job. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna do those split jacks. So feet forward and back, arms up to the side. Yes, nice job. As many as you can for 12 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, rest, rest. Okay, and we're gonna do two more rounds. So rest one minute and then we'll repeat it two more times. <clears throat> Doing good? Uh, I don't know if I can do it two more times. Okay, we'll try, we'll start with one more time. Yeah, one more at a time. <laughs> it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Okay, 10 more seconds. Starting with those penguins. Three, two, one, go. And nice and slow and steady is good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Roll on over into the plank and shoulder tap. Nice work. Three, two, one. Inchworm, walk those hands back to your feet. And then walk them back out into a plank. Ten more seconds for our inchworms. Three, two, one. The lunges are next. So grab that walking stick. Nice job. Nice and easy. Ten more seconds. So a couple more reps. Three, two, one. Now we'll go into those one leg deadlift, walking dead. Hips stay high, slight bend in your knees. Trying to keep your back as flat as possible. Three, two, one. 
those split jacks. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. <clears throat> Dang it. So how are you doing? Do you want to try one more? Yeah. Okay. We'll soak up this rest and again, just a couple reps on each one is always good. And we got 30 more seconds to soak up some rest, some nice deep breaths. Get that space between your shoulders and your ears. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Just that last set, three, Two, one, go. And get nice and easy. Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one, plank, shoulder taps. Nice work, nice work. 10 more seconds for these. And then we inchworm. Three. Two, one, inchworm. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one, lunges, using that walking stick, just a couple more lunges in these 30 seconds and we'll be all done with the lunges, get pushing into that walking stick as much as you need. Three. Two, one. Now we'll do those deadlifts with the staggered stance, walking dead, hips high, slight bend in your knees. One, split jacks. Nice job, last 30 seconds. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. 